if you're anything like me, you probably have broken a lot of those push pins which used to come with the uh, stock cooler of the Intel CPU coolers. You know what I'm talking about. I've broken far too many that can remember to count. But today I'm gonna to show you how I modified this Arctic Cooler Freezer Pro 7, the original one, not the second one. And I managed to get rid of the pins because they broke anyway. And I managed to install this onto this cooler using a screw, a, an original back plate, and a couple of washers. I'm gonna show you how I've done it coming up. Roll the intro. Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Like I told you, I had this cooler left over in a system by a client and uh, the pins, I broke them. I hate them, I always break them. So I prefer the other system, the screw onto the normal backplate. Now this backplate was pulled from another system, but you can also find these on eBay. So the three things I use was the backplate, this nylon screw, and these screws are M3 size, and I think this is about 12 uh, millimeter in uh, length, but there's various size. I'm gonna put links in the description for all these where you can find them, they're quite cheap. I bought a pack of these, I think, for about, uh, roughly about under two pounds, and they also come with nuts, but I did not get the nuts, okay? What I also got was a box of these. These are multi uh, M various sizes of M screws and nuts and bolts and washers. So I also used two washers, right? A smaller one and a slightly bigger one because inside the hole of the cooler of the bracket, there was a hole and if I just put the screw in there, it would not have held. So I used two washers, one smaller, one bigger. So it's holding quite fine. As you can see, if I can hold it upright, although these are nylon washers, they're holding just fine. Uh, currently, because they're a bit longer than I needed, okay, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna snip these off because I've tried them. So literally all I had to do was got rid of the pins. I took these, this original bracket, stuck it under there, okay, and then, I put two washers on top. This was under the board and the board was on top and I was screwing it down, right? That's all I did, literally. And uh, the beauty is that these arms, the bra bottom bracket, they're a little bit flexible. So when you do screw down, just remember not to over tighten, okay? And uh, I just tested it, it's working fine, but I'm going to boot this up to show you the temperature, although I have not yet put proper thermal paste on it because I was just a test trial. After this, I'm, I'm going to actually undo this, cut this off and Bob's your uncle. So let's go over to my setup to show you how it's working with the temperature. Of course, um, the fan originally was spinning quite loud, but I used a couple of uh, software initially in the BIOS. I changed the setting to kind of a manual control for the uh, fan for the main CPU fan and I also use, I think it was hardware monitor and you can also use something like speed fan if you want to control the fan speed. Let's go ahead to the bench. Now, as you can see, uh, it's working perfectly fine. It's spinning and if we look at the temperature on the screen, I'm using a couple of um, apps. You can use speed fan and to control the speed of the fans and uh, with hardware monitor, I think we can see um, the temperatures are quite decent right now, although, what can we see on there? It's uh, 34 degrees, although the thermal paste is not properly installed right now, but I'm going to do this afterwards. So there you have it, guys. I hope this was an easy kind of uh, solution to that horrible pin situation that we've all experienced, I'm sure, in the past. If that's helped you, please consider giving this a like, consider subscribing so you can help the channel. Also, leave me a comment below. And... Uh, share this video with others. Once again, this was Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Only next time, peace out.